Hi everyone, I'm going to introduce you to the set of Arty Effects plugins right now. Um, what we have is a Duck App plugin, that's a sidechain envelope, Roomy, a reverb and filter, a filter, low pass and high pass filter combo. This is a loop session here that I'm going to use to show off these three plugins. What we have is a 4-4 kick, simple kick drum coming down on this track, and uh, a bass line here, which I'll just fade up. We can hear now that the kick drum and the fader are actually present at the same time, there's no side chaining going on yet. Um, with routing, uh, currently this track is connected to the normal inputs of the Ducca, and here we can create a side chain sound from this kick drum track to the side chain input of Ducca. When we do that, and I'll do that by clicking on the key button here in a second, you'll notice that uh, the kick drum is analyzed in Ducca, and whenever there is a kick, it'll fade down the bass line. So we'll do that now. This is one of the most common techniques used for bass line side chaining in modern electro, uh, house, minimal, techno, name it. So we have some parameters here. We have a threshold for the kick drum. We can uh, make the kick drum like the, the sensitivity of the plugin more or less. We can drop the signal level the whole way or just a little bit. Sometimes it's nice to just kind of dip some pads or synths just a little bit when the kick is there but not take them out completely because it sounds kind of strange if you do that. And a time parameter which allows us to set how long after the kick drum actually is present the, the bass comes in. So we can set it very quick and we can see there that it's actually coming in too quickly and this is almost too late again where it sounds kind of off, but somewhere there in the middle, you kind of have to play with it depending on the kick drum as well. I think there somewhere is quite nice. So that's the uh, Duck App plugin, very useful for side chaining bass lines under kick drums. Next I'll bring in some uh, little lead, add a little bit of reverb to that. Notice that little stereo spread going on there, it's uh, quite a wide algorithm, you know, nice for that house kind of feel. We'll take in some more synths here, and just trigger those. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Masha, which is one of the plugins from the RT Effects suite. Uh, Masha is uh, a essentially uh, a looping little sampler. Now what it does is it records a little piece of audio, 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 and plays it back in a loop, as you just heard. It's uh, a, a, a quite a quite a common effect, of particularly between DJs. So there's the stutter roll effect on the Pioneer uh, DJM series mixers. That's essentially what Masha does. So. It's uh, useful in a variety of situations. I'll show you right now one of the things that we can actually do with it. I'll turn on a metronome here, and we'll see that this is a uh, beat sync to Masha automatically. So if I reduce the time to half a beat, just like this uh, system here, then now uh, we have this. And we can hear that the little hi-hat type sound I just made is actually being used as a metronome now. So uh, next thing we're gonna do is record a little bit and uh, I'll show you how we can actually make use of Masha as an input device, inf input effect, to create a little loop. All right, here we go. So right there, what we've done is we looped a little hi-hat and then uh, done some bass drum snare stuff in the background while that loop was ongoing. Now we can actually alter this output this loop playing here with Masha with, with, with yo 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 I think you kind of see what's going on alright cool so the way it actually works is uh, when we right click here I'll turn off the metronome when we right click right, here right, 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 then Masha starts sampling so if we turn it to a full beat duration then we see this and uh, basically what happens is I'm going to talk a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit and uh, it samples that amount of time now 
if we record a very short segment like this, 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 then Masha in the background samples the whole lot, so we can actually increase the time then as well. That's very useful for this, 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 this type of effect. In the same way, if we have a stutter going, just like this little loop here, then we can uh, change some values here. I'll talk through these for a sec. Uh, we have the volume. That's the actual volume of 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 vol